So, most of you are probably new to this channel. Um, I've had my YouTube for a couple of years, but I kind of haven't posted in a really long time, and then I kind of just posted some random videos. So anyway, I am really starting my channel now, and it is going to be a Disney College program channel because I got into the Disney College program. I just kind of wanted to make a video explaining my application process and getting accepted and things like that. I did not really film my application process, my interview process, even me getting accepted because the first, like the interview process I didn't um, film because I was really nervous about not getting in and I kind of just like, I didn't want to film if I wasn't going to get in because I was like, oh, this is just going to be really sad for me after and I honestly really did not think I was going to get in. And then my acceptance I didn't film and I will tell you why later. August 20th, I guess, applications dropped and I wasn't really keeping up with when the applications were dropping, anything like that because I didn't think I could apply this semester. I thought that you had to be in college for a full semester before applying. So I just assumed I wasn't going to be able to apply for um, spring 2019. I thought the earliest I'd be able to apply was for fall 2019. But then I saw that applications were dropped on the 20th and it was the 21st of August. And I was like, hmm, I, I wonder if I can. So I started like looking it up and I basically saw that I could apply. And I was like, I started freaking out like it was literally as if I had been accepted already I started freaking out I was like oh my god I can apply to the Disney College program already like I need to do it as soon as possible which was a bad idea so basically what I did was literally as soon as like I watched maybe I had seen most like application videos but I hadn't watched them in a really long time and honestly my advice to anyone applying is you really should watch those videos you should look at those vlogs all of that because they are so helpful and they will help you so much and I I had watched them before but it had been a while and I was so excited that I watched maybe one didn't even finish the whole thing and then I hurried up and filled out my application which it obviously ended up working out for me but I feel like my application could have been a lot better so basically your first step is the application and it's just all of your basic information where you're from, you, what, how old you are, what college you go to, things like that, and then your work experience. And honestly, I think that your work experience is the most important part. Like, that's what sets you apart from everyone else. And the application is very important because that's what makes you go on to the next step. So a lot of people don't get through due to their application, so you need to make sure that you have a good application. You need to make sure you're putting all your skills, explaining everything well, I don't know how I got pushed through, to be quite honest. I put all of my jobs, I put my skills, but I didn't put them in enough detail, I don't think. And I think that you should put a lot more detail. Honestly, it worked for me. I can show you my application. I think that two of my jobs, I did put a good amount of detail, but my latest job, which is Starbucks, I didn't put that much detail. And so, yeah, my advice is look at those videos watch those videos watch this video even and they will help you with your application which is very important so anyway august 21st i applied for the disney college program set it sent it in and i was expecting to hear back within 20 minutes an hour maybe the next day because that's what most people say most people get theirs most people go into the next step which is the wbi the web-based interview within 20 minutes they get their wbi and i was like Oh, like, if I'm really going to get in, then I'm going to get it quick. Well, 30 minutes passed. The next morning came. The morning after that, and the morning after that. And it ended up being two months past. So, it was almost two months. But by the beginning of October, I started to lose a lot of hope. I honestly didn't think there was any chance of me getting in, any chance of me even moving to the next step. Because it had been so long and I hadn't heard anything. I hadn't received any emails, anything like that. So I just kind of lost hope. May I remind you, literally every single day for like a whole like month and a half, I was checking my portal, my Disney College Program portal, like my dashboard, I mean, 
in my email constantly. I literally would check my dashboard probably three times a day. Like, almost every day. So, around... I would say around the 8th of October, I kind of started to lose hope, which is kind of funny. So, I started to lose hope, and I stopped checking it. I would maybe check it once a day, but I was just like, you know what? If it happens, it happens. I don't think it's going to happen, so I'm just going to kind of leave it alone. Then... Let me make sure I have the right days so I can... October 11th. On October 11th, um, I was going through my email and deleting emails because I literally have over like 2,000 emails right now and I like slowly delete them every day, which doesn't really help. But anyway, I was going through my emails and I had just got home from work. I had work that day and then right after that I think I had school. It was a Thursday. So yeah, so I'd work all day and then school and then I got home and I get out of school at like 5.15 so it was kind of late at night already. And I checked my email and I saw action required immediately and I was like, wait, what? So I just like clicked the email and I started freaking out. It was my WBI I had gotten it. So I was like, oh my God. And before I even took it, I decided, okay, no, I'm going to watch some videos again. So again, watch those videos that help you with your WBI. I feel like the WBI is not that hard to pass. Like, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say that because I passed it. So maybe I sound really mean. I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound mean, but you just need to think about what your ideal cast member is and answer the questions based on that yes don't lie too much like you don't if it's like are you always on time and you're never ever on time then maybe you shouldn't lie but if you really want this you're gonna change and you're gonna be on time so just put what you think is going to make you the best cast member and make sure that you go through with those but that's basically what you need to do you need to choose what they're looking for and that's it so the questions are basically it asks some multiple choice questions some like how likely questions i think i got four different types of questions so yeah basically that's what it is it's it's like an online questionnaire type of things it asks you questions like how likely are you to be late um i'm blanking this was a couple weeks ago i don't even remember i literally went through the questions like so fast and so like Oh, what's going on? I can't believe it. Anyway, so I passed it and it tells you right away that you pass it. When you when you pass it, it as soon as you finish, it's like you passed, which I wasn't expecting, but I was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe it." Like, what? So like, started freaking out once again, and then you can schedule your phone interview right away. So I scheduled my phone interview for Monday the 15th at 5:15. Before I did the phone interview, I got a ton of questions. They have them if you're in the Facebook groups, which you should be in the Facebook groups. Um, if you're in the Facebook groups, they have, like, tons of questions. I found, like, blogs with, like, over 150 questions on them that are potential questions that they can ask you, the interview can ask, interviewer can ask you. And I literally filled out all of them. I didn't fill out the ones for the roles that I didn't put high interest in. So when you do the application process, you can put which roles you have high interest, low interest, moderate interest, and no interest at all. And if you put no interest, you're most likely not going to get that role. It's a tiny chance that you can, but your interviewer will usually ask you first and then you can change it. But other than that, if you put low interest, moderate interest, high interest, you have a chance to get that role. So if you put any interest at all, make sure that that's not a role that you really don't want. So you need to fill out, honestly, I think that it's a must for you to fill out those questionnaires. Maybe you're just a really good interviewer and you can think of things quick on the spot. That's fine, but I really think that you should. Um, so it ended up helping me a lot. I think that almost every single question that my interviewer, that my interviewer asked me had been on those questionnaires. So I kind of already knew what to say. I did not say a word for word, which another tip. Do not have your laptop, don't really have papers in front of you. Try to just, what I did was answer the question so it doesn't totally throw me off. Um, I didn't have the questions in front of me because I didn't want to sound rehearsed. I wanted to sound normal, I wanted to sound like this was coming from my head, which it was coming from my head. I just had kind of previously a little bit answered them. I would honestly really highly recommend filling out those questionnaires. I will leave the questionnaire that I answered down below so you can... So I can just say the roles that I put interest in. 
So I put low interest for custodial, no interest for lifeguard, moderate interest for quick service food and beverage, high interest for attractions, moderate interest for Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, um, high interest for character intended, moderate interest for character performance, performer, high interest for merchandise, photo pass, high interest. So that's what I did. Um, that's not including Disneyland. I just, I'm not going to really talk about Disneyland because I didn't get accepted for Disneyland. So, so my interviewer, she was so sweet. She was so nice. I felt so comfortable talking to her. Like it was almost like as soon as I, I answered the phone, I was so nervous, so completely nervous. But once I started talking to her, it got like, it was a very normal conversation. It was very nice. It flowed well. I thought it was honestly, when my interview was done, I honestly thought I did pretty good. So I was very confident about my interview. Um, she just asked me, she asked me a question about attractions. She asked me, um, what would I do if a child was too short to ride the ride? I answered that. Just a brief answer. I, I kind of want to do a video on interview process later, so I'm not going to say those right now. But, um, yeah, she asked me about that. She asked me a couple more and mainly I talked about my job at Starbucks because that's my current job and I feel like it's the job like that I do the most in. I, I feel like I can talk the most but then I also worked at Great America which is a local theme park so that kind of came in handy a little bit because you know theme park that's mainly the reason why I worked at Great America is because I wanted experience for the Disney College program or to work at Disneyland so it yeah it kind of helped but I feel like Starbucks really helped me. Once my interview was done I was like, all right, like, I guess it's just the waiting game now. Like, I knew I wasn't going to hear back immediately. I know that they have certain days when they do offers. So I was like, okay, I have to wait for that. So they actually didn't have offers that rest of that week. They just had character performer, which I wanted to be a character performer. But I didn't go to the audition, any audition, because I was like, you know what? I'm too scared. I'm a horrible dancer. Just not going to do that. Just going to go have at it at a different role. So I didn't go to any of those, so I didn't obviously get offered for character, performer. So then I had to wait till the next week. Monday, I thought maybe we would hear something. Monday the... let me get these dates again. Monday the 22nd, I thought maybe. But then I heard that they were mostly doing extensions for the current program, which is fall 2018. So they were just doing those extensions, so I was like, okay. Tuesday, I really thought that I was going to hear something. I thought that that was going to be the day. But they ended up just um, doing more extensions. They had a bunch, so they had to do more. So I was like, okay, okay. Wednesday, I knew that there was going to be a wave on Wednesday. Um, I follow some of the recruiters on Twitter, and they were posting things about waves. And that's usually when that means that they're going to send out offers or something like say like things about waves. So I was like, okay. So that morning, I live in California, so I woke up at 7 a.m. in California. So that means it was probably 10 there in Florida. And I woke up and I checked my phone right away. I checked my email. Nothing. So I was like, okay. So I checked the Twitter and my Facebook groups. And it, it didn't seem like any offers had gone out yet. But it seemed that they were getting ready to do offers. So I was like, okay. So I tried to go back to sleep because I had school at 1030 that day. So I wanted to get as much sleep as possible. But I could not go back to sleep, like, at all. I was so nervous, so excited, but also really nervous. I don't even think I was that excited, to be quite honest. I was mostly nervous because I was like, I'm not going to get in. Like, I think around 50,000 people apply every year, and about 4,000 get in. And some people have talked in the group, in the pages on Facebook, and they talk about applying five times. It's their fifth time applying, and they didn't even get an offer. Or they didn't even get their WBI that time. And I'm just like, wow, like that's literally going to be me. I was afraid that they wouldn't accept me because my application I didn't think was that good. I'm only 17. I will be 18, but I'm only 17. So I didn't think they would want to accept a new adult. It's only my first time applying. There was just so many things that I didn't think that they would accept me for. But then at 8.05, I was sitting with my sister. She was talking to me before she had to leave to school. And my phone started buzzing. And I was like... Like, it did a little, like, buzz. And I was like, and, like, I know that's my email buzz. So I was like, 
Okay, and I really wanted to pull out a camera since I knew it was happening that day. I kind of wanted to keep a camera with me all day to be ready. But I was still in my PJs. I hadn't even gotten ready yet. And I was like, okay, should I just wait? Like, I don't know. And I was like, no, I think I got it. Like, I think I didn't get in. So I want to just know now. I don't want to film that. Like, I don't want to film me crying. So I was like, I'm just going to look at it. And at 8.05 a.m., I got the email that I was accepted into the Disney College program. I literally could not believe it. I honestly still can't believe it. I feel like I'm still really shocked. Um, everyone asked me, like, How, did you cry? Like, I've been asked that a couple times. I'm like, I didn't cry. And I think it's just because I was so shocked. Like, and it's not like I didn't, like, it's not like... Like, the Disney College program has always been, like, one of my biggest dreams. Like, I found out about it when I was in 8th grade because of Francis Dominic. I'm sure you guys know who he is. He's very Instagram famous. He did the Disney College program in Walt Disney World, and then he did it in Disneyland as well. And I started following him when he did in Disneyland, found out what it was, and ever since then, it has been, like, my biggest dream. I just realized that the entire end of my video got deleted. Or actually, I didn't even film. My camera just stopped filming tell me so anyway like I was saying so I was completely shocked that I got in I could not believe it honestly but I got in and I'm not gonna say my rule yet because I want to make a separate video I'm going to be going to Disneyland really soon so even though my I won't be working in Disneyland I'm gonna do my role reveal at Disneyland so yeah, if you guys want to see more Disney College program videos, more Disney videos, anything like that, then please subscribe. I will be posting informational videos, things about my role, blah blah blah, stuff like that, up until. And then once I get there, I will be posting vlogs and like about the program because then I'll be experiencing it. So if you want to see that, then you really should subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, then comment them down below. I will be happy to answer them. If you got accepted for Spring or Spring Advantage 2019, then you should really message me and we can be friends. And if not, if you just want to watch my videos, if you just want to follow my journey, then you should do that too. So I will be posting a lot more so you have more videos to look forward to. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I am so excited to start my journey. And thank you guys for following along with me. I'll see you real soon. Bye! Five, four, three.